attachments or so many different factors we figure into it but your deeds are always mixed our deeds so the niya is very important this place what is the niya on this place Alhamdulillah, people are contributing, they want to build a masjid because they want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to build for them a palace in heaven. They want Allah's pleasure. Everyone comes, what counts is what's in your heart. Why we do what we do. Why we're coming here tonight. Driving all the way here for what? What is our intention? come for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, coming for socializing, coming for good food, coming for what? What's in our hearts? That's what counts. So, ikhlas al lillah, is essential in everything we do in our existence. Real, when people, men of Allah and awliya, is they don't act unless their niya is in line. If they feel that there is something else in their perception when they're doing something, they may refrain from doing it. And the examples are many. Sayyidina Ali, when the champ of Islam, Asadullah al Ghari, Ali ibn Abi Talib, when he was fighting in Khaybar, and the champ of the enemy, Burhab, was a very young powerful champ challenged him to fight and when Sayyidina Ali had him beat without his sword and was ready to kill him and have it spit in his face as the last act of defiance Sayyidina Ali sheathed his sword walk toward him. And they asked, he, that was an insult above insult because he already beat this, this champ and he wants to be killed because of his, his, his dignity. He's now you're leaving me also, why? He was inquiring. Why are you letting me go? So because when I was fighting you, my knee I was for Allah and his prophets also. But when you injured my did something against me personally, he felt something now in his heart. If he kills him, that there may be a chance to him something. Because now he he did something personally against him. So he refrained. This is high level. But for us, as much as one can remember to any action to do is to bring back that knee to question themselves, what am I doing this for? And to try to, at least by tongue, and as much as one can by heart, to remember that, Ya Rabbi, make this act for you, make this action for you, solely for you. I remember we went to Allahumma Salli Ala Sayyidina Muhammad, I visited the maqam of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi the cousin of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Al Akham ibn Al Abbas. He was martyred all the way in Uzbekistan. There's a well there where they say when he was 
when he cut his head, he, his head fell in his hands and he walked and there's a well there and he fell in the well. And it is said that he, he had a, a lot of resemblance to prophets physically. That's what I heard from Mawlana Sheikh Nazim when we went there. But right at the maqam, and najat fil ikhlas. Right outside this maqam, the written the hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, safety in sincerity. Najat. May Allah make us real sincere ones. Make our hearts for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make our deeds, our actions, even every breath we take for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one thing I remember also from that trip is that he said as well, he said, don't be cheap with your niyyah. So when you make intentions, don't be cheap. And don't just intend for small things. Intend for big things. Intend Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you ability to help his servants anywhere. Intend Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to use you for guidance. Intend to be a means of help and mercy to to Allah's creation. Intend to reach full sincerity. Intend to do every good action Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala required of us in this existence as human beings. Intend to do it daily. And to refrain from any bad action that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to say. Intend. Make it a riyadah. Something daily. Practice. Ya Rabbi, I am a weak servant. I am a sinful servant. I cannot accomplish anything. But if you granted me tawfiq, if you grant me help, I, I want to be like this. I want to be a true servant of yours. وَمَا ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ بِعَزِيزٍ يَشْتَبِي إِلَيْهِ مَنْ أَنَاب اشتباء يعني Allah can, can instantly قُلْ فَيَكُونْ make us true servants not because of our deeds but if maybe we are sincerely asking He may, he may grant so, inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa on this Friday night, we make intention, Ya Rabbi, to be true servants of yours. Ya Rabbi, to be real mukhlis servants. And to be means also, to be used as means of good deeds and guidance in this world. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward those who are taking part into opening this place up. Make it a flag for the love of Prophet Make this place a place where people know that you go there and in that place there's tawqeer wa ta'deemun nabi. A place where this Prophet is honored Respected, praised, loved. Make this place like this. Make it a place of Salah al Nabi, of Milad. Call people to the love of Prophet in this place. And open it for any lover of Sayyidina Muhammad. Any, anyone you hear that they are Muhibbin Nabi, make it, invite them to this place. Alhamdulillah. You have a community here in Cambridge, you have Sheikh Taras here, and uh, our Ba'alawi brothers, there's also, I uh, heard the Cambridge, Sufi. Hey, make a joint events, connect. This is, this brings 
this is the real Prophet two things. Allah, Allah. He's, he said, will make us with him on the day of judgment okay. in heavens, inshallah. One is iktharu salati alayhi, to, to praise him much. And the second is aqrabukum ilayya yawm al-qiyamati ahasinukum akhlaqa, the ones who have the best of manners. So make it like this, make it a place of where people come to pray Sayyidina Muhammad and to learn about his manners. To learn the Muhammadan manners. Two things inshallah will be shafa'a for you and your your loved ones in this world and in the next one.